Hello One Piece fans, in episode 1052 Momo is in a state of panic as Onigashima crumbles and falls towards the flower capital. Yamato comes to his aid, instructing him to conjure up flame clouds and hold onto them, explaining that dragons create clouds to use as footholds to move through the sky. Miraculously, Momo successfully summons the clouds, while Yamato takes care of the falling debris. The two of them can see the flower capital from the air, and they realize that the falling island will be over the people's heads in less than five minutes. Yamato urges Momo to conjure up flame clouds stronger than Kaido's, but Momo is skeptical, as he is still new to his dragon form and is uncertain if he has the same powers as Kaido. Yamato reminds Momo that if the island drops, it will crush everyone in the flower capital, and Onigashima is filled with weapons and gunpowder, making it essentially a giant bomb. In a moment of panic, Momo considers seeking Luffy's help in stopping Kaido, but Yamato reminds him that Luffy is already carrying the weight of the fight and doesn't need any more pressure. The two of them need to figure out how to stop the island themselves. On the chaotic live floor, Queen unleashes his devastating Bree Pan attack on Sanji, who desperately dodges the flurry of strikes. Despite his impressive agility, Sanji can't help but admit that Queen is an incredibly formidable opponent. As the two clash swords, Queen demands that Sanji reveal his true strength by donning his powerful raid suit. He's seen the suit in action before, having witnessed Sanji use it to take down King, and he's eager to see it in action once again. In a sudden burst of power, Queen knocks Sanji back with a fierce blow. But even as he rises to his feet, Sanji can feel something strange happening to his body. His thoughts race as he considers the source of this unusual sensation. Despite the danger he's in, Sanji stubbornly refuses to use his raid suit. He's determined to prove himself on his own terms, without relying on the power of the Vinsmoke family. With gritted teeth and a fierce glare, Sanji makes his defiance clear to Queen. As the battle rages on, the tension between Sanji and Queen reaches a fever pitch. With each passing moment, it's clear that this is a fight to the death, with both combatants unleashing all their might in a bid for victory. Will Sanji be able to hold his own against Queen's deadly Bripan move, or will he finally be forced to don his raid suit to survive? Only time will tell in this heart-pumping battle of wills. Meanwhile, King has transformed into his hybrid form and is unleashing wind slashes that are hitting friend and foe alike. Zoro attempts to block King's attacks but ends up being thrown through the castle. Frankie catches him, and Zoro declines Frankie's offer to help him fight King. Several beasts pirates realize that King is angry because Zoro cracked part of his mask, and nobody has ever seen King's real face. King charges straight for Zoro with his tank Uden, and Zoro attempts to block it with Santori, UL Toragari. Unfortunately, King's attack is too strong, and Zoro is blown out of the castle, left dangling in the air. Zoro manages to save himself from falling with Notoriu, Clear Lance, and the two land outside on the island. Zoro angrily demands that King should have used his sword to kill him, insisting that he deserves that much respect. If you already watched this episode please let me know your thoughts in comment section and please like, subscribe to my channel for exciting video.